Welcome to The Naomi Show. You know, Fox FM's Matt and Joe love to put on an event, and tonight they've got together a whole bunch of singles for a no surprises party. But just what is that? Well, it's the opportunity to have a first date with a clean slate. You're not keeping anything secret. I mean, we usually go on a first date and hold something back until maybe we've got to know them a bit better. But here we're going in with a completely no holds barred, this is me, take me or leave me attitude. It's trying to, I guess we're going from first date to fifth date in one night. Yes. Everyone knows what a surprise party is, so that means some people are doing it within an hour. <laughs> No, the point of course is that everyone knows what a surprise party is, but you hate it when you meet someone, you text your friends, you go, and then they told me this. Yes. Or then I went to their house and I found out that. So we figure if everyone's got one of those, you can get that off your chest, you're away. I need all the help I can get, obviously, as a price of party, you know. It's getting, a little, get, getting on there. So you're a serial cheater? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I've never, like, I, it's happened pretty much every time, so yeah. <laughs> so how does it come about? You just can't help yourself? No, I get bored <laughs> really, really easily. Okay, so you've really come out and exposed yourself, so to speak, tonight. Were you feeling a bit nervous about it? Very nervous. Very, very nervous. <laughs> how did it happen? Uh, about two years ago, we had a few boys, got to be drunk, went to sex I uh, don't remember it, woke up in the morning and there it was. Um, I was dragged here and uh, no, I'm happy with it. I'm happy to just reveal it, why not? Yeah. I'm happy and single now, so <laughs> I love it. In debt because of the stilettos, I have over 900 pairs of shoes. Tell me, are you a little concerned that this might ruin your chances of finding a boyfriend? I think it does because one time I told a guy that I had that many pairs of shoes and his face was kind of like, I was like, okay, bye. He never called me again. I was like, fine. <laughs> so I never told anyone ever again. Every single guy I go for is a tradie that drives a ute and is like pretty good looking. How did it occur to you, given that you're a serial cheater, that maybe that kind of guy is not the right guy for you? You need to go for someone else and maybe you won't cheat? Yeah, I know, that's what my family says to me, but it's the type of guys I'm attracted to, so I can't help it. So I think what it is, is it's a great equaliser to walk into a room and say, everybody in here is admitting something. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.